It seems like every day we get another round of depressing climate headlines. The most destructive wildfire in California's history just ravaged the state. Recent hurricanes have pummeled the Northern Mariana Islands and Florida. And a few months ago, a startling UN climate report found that the world has less than 12 years to drastically reduce carbon emissions before we reach a point of no return. And we'll start seeing coastal cities underwater, the rapid spread of deadly diseases, and regions gripped by famine and drought. But there is reason to have hope. While President Trump pursues the agenda of the fossil fuel industry, which means the rich get richer as the planet burns, cities around the world can lead the fight against climate change. Consider this, cities currently account for 70% of global emissions, which means cities have the power to implement change in their jurisdictions that can create dramatic change without the federal government. Throwing up our hands is not an option. By embracing bold solutions, we can seize control of our climate destiny. During my time in the New York City Council, I have proudly championed climate-friendly policies, such as reducing waste, by encouraging composting and getting rid of single-use plastics, installing green roofs on all buildings to lower our city's temperature, requiring emissions-free vehicles to be the norm, and protecting and expanding our green spaces. Our efforts should serve as a model for governments around the world. We also have to push cities to switch to all renewable sources of energy by 2030. And we should start this effort in communities that have suffered from the effects of environmental injustice. Climate change was pretty much absent from the conversation in the last election cycle. A better world is possible, but it requires you to get involved in the conversation. We need to ensure that climate change is the top issue in future elections. Call your local elected officials and tell them that this should be their number one priority. And most importantly, vote for candidates who are running on a climate change platform. Our work is just getting started.